Hey guys, RC here. Well, I just got a good night's sleep. We still woke up a few minutes before daybreak. And what we're going to do, now this is considered a large tree. Remember we unlocked the ability to cut down regular trees. So we're just going to get in here. And if, I, if you hold the F button down, you will start just going from item to item if they're close enough. All right, so let's grab that and we're going to chunk it out here. We're going to chunk that out there. And when you dig up the uh, dig up the stumps, there's a reason for this. They do grow back. So use this grove to your advantage. And we got two there, right? Awesome. We're just going to go ahead and dig. It actually feels so good to be recording again, guys. Oh, my God. This is my fifth video today. That way I've got enough stuff for you guys to have next week, right? All right. Now I'm going to show you guys a trick. So you can only carry one log at a time, but if you lay them in a row, you can actually push them in a straight line, of course. So I put them on that road there, and we can, you know, now we're not taking all day to walk over there and pick up new ones, right? Much quicker, much cleaner. Now, I cannot do the big tree yet. I need to open a technology. But we're going to go ahead and knock the rest of these out. We'll get some more mushrooms. Uh, not enough energy. All right, well, that's a problem. Oh, wait. Not enough what? Not enough energy. Oh, that seems odd. All right, let's see. I can make... Oh, you know what I need to make? I don't have it yet. I need a chopping spot. So I need five wood billets. So I can make four here. And we'll make four more. I could have stacked them both in there, but the problem with uh, stacking them is they don't, uh, you can't clear them once you've done it. So just be cognizant of that. All right, a chopping spot. All right, we'll just go right there. And I want firewood. So I want to make 30 firewood just to get us until I have another fuel source. All right, so we're going to put 20 in here. All right. And I'm going to put 10 up here. All 10 and the mushrooms. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to cook. So the first thing we need to do is do our fuel. So I'm going to do one stack. And then I can make bread. Now, you see on the right, it gives me the amount of time. So I can scroll up. So I have enough fire time to make that. And that'll cook all by itself and drop out on the floor. And the other thing I can do here is we're going to go ahead and add in all 20. And that'll give us 180 fuel. And then we want to start smelting iron. So that'll start going as well. Now, even though we're not doing anything, guess what's going to happen? It is going to give us reds and greens. All right. We have some harvestable stuff. Not enough energy. All right, well, what do I have to do here? I need to open a technology, I am sure. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe it's not until I bring him his stuff. All right, so... We'll look through these. The cooking comes up automatically. You just learn it. All right. 
right now we want to do wood more than anything else and we're as far as we can until we get blues so the next thing is to worry about stone and that's okay we'll worry about that and mining we'll work on doing that down the road as well um smithing we want to be able to make nails and simple iron parts so we're going to unlock that and tools we want to do that and there was something else up here no maybe not all right and farming oh here we go let's uh, unlock the improvements to the farm all right so now if we come back here we can actually build a trunk for storage over here which we're gonna need but we're exhausted it's nighttime uh, I do want to make a note because I, I need to build the trunk here right all right so we need four filch four filch four nails and two simple parts all right so we'll bring that with us tomorrow and these are these are work at their own pace uh, let's see we're gonna drop I'm gonna keep those I'm gonna keep those and look the bread drops and I'm gonna go ahead and drop um, carrots and wheat in there and let's call it a night all right well guess what i forgot to go see the astrologer again uh let's see all right if we go into inventory and we click on that the bread it's a usable item so we can move that down into our quick access bar and now that we have that we'll show you how that works all right and we're going to put the iron in there okay so we needed the filch I needed more nails and all right so the nails I think I need to build an anvil wooden anvil two simple parts and two wood billets All right, how do I make the simple parts? I have forgotten. That's going to be under smithing. All right, I need a wood anvil. All right. I can, well, so I've screwed up by not having simple parts. Shoot. All right, so that means I am going to have to I'm going to take my six rocks and I am going to go ahead and teleport to the dead horse. And we're going to go sell these rocks to make a little money. We haven't had any more bodies, so I'm sure there's a set process that those get delivered, but I don't know what it is. All right, let's trade with him. Six rocks. All right. And I should have made the... I wonder. Oh, look at this. Maybe? No, not that one. Darn. We already broke that one. I checked that one. I think I got all of them here. Ah, that's disappointing. All right, back to the blacksmith. We're going to have to buy some iron parts. It's better to buy the iron bar, I believe, and make your own. But I am not going to have a choice here. Uh, simple iron parts. And I need two. And I can barely afford that uh why can i not afford that all right well i guess taxes maybe taxes possibly 
All right, your uh, your teleport stone resets. I think it's three real minutes of game time. So we are going to walk back on this one, but we're going to actually have a reason to do so. We're going to stop back by the farm, try to get the rest of those crops. All right, so this should be Witch Hill. I am going to gather the red flowers. Those are the ones that I can plant at the cemetery. Trees do grow back in the game, so those are something to keep keep in mind. I always pick up the mushrooms when they when they come available. Okay. And harvest. Oh. Harvest and harvest. All right, so still need to make that trunk. We'll get to it. We will get to it. All right. Um, all right, more iron. Okay, so I've got the simple parts. I need two billets. So we'll do that. Oh, I can't pick them up. No. All right. So now let's go pick those up. All right. We are going to build the wood anvil. I think I'm going to build this down here. All right. Now we have, I have three. bars so we're going to make plenty of simple parts to get us started and then i want nails and then i want filch all right okay let's oh there's a body all right so change of plans Remember, the body starts to decompose right away. Now, I'm almost out of power. So we have two options. We can bring it in and just leave it here, which is what I'm going to do. Or we could actually eat some food, which I am going to do anyway. But this is my priority right now. Because I want to get more crops planted. All right, so... Uh, I have the items to build a trunk, and I am going to rotate it and put it right there. All right, we are going to come build that. Not enough, so let's eat two pieces of bread, and we are going to put our food. Uh, actually, yes, these are the things that I want to bring to the merchant, and well, yeah, and I want to leave the crop waste and my seeds now you do not get a one for one return on your seeds all right oh, where did the i had some more peat did i not did i leave it up here i did all right so i'll show you guys how to replant and we will start generating our own peat so we won't have a problem. All right, so when we've already fertilized these, right, the first time around, so if you have peat in your inventory or in the trunk here, it already shows up. So I'm going to do that and then plant. And it's looking for a repeat of the same seed that you already did. Now that one is different, so we're going to have to come down there. Now we're out of peat at this point. So peat gives you more seeds. So we're going to hold off on doing that. So we're going to put, 
All right, there's nothing else to leave there, but we have gotten some more crops planted, right? It is nighttime. Let's see if we can find a few flowers. And I don't know if these give you the, the moths or not. Doesn't appear. So let's go wander the road, find some wild flowers. Those are more likely. I'm looking for the flowers so we can do get the moths. Oh, and I didn't see the bishop, but the yard was not, the grave yet site was not ready to show him yet. So no big deal. Hmm. All right, well, let's try over here. All right, we're not getting any moss. I know you only get them from flowers and only after dark. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use my teleport stone. Let's get to the house. There's the rest of our food. Now, we can check in here, but there's no fire left. If we had more fire, then we could cook some more. But we are going to leave that be for right now. Uh, let's see, we're going to leave that, 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 and that. I do have some more stuff over there to pick up. All right. See you guys in the morning. All right, I didn't sleep all the way. I want to go check out that body. I had not forgotten about it. And the, the iron, just like the food, will just drop right outside for you to pick up. Uh, you know what? If you dig it up, it will come back. I'm just going to drop that. We'll get it at some point. These small ones only give sticks. I'm going the wrong way. You, know, you would think the morgue would be where the graveyard is. All right, let's check out our body. So the body is only at 98%, right? Um, I can't do anything else. And I don't really need the meat right now, so I'm just going to take the body as it is. Now, there's some things that we can do later on, and we'll we'll get into that as we unlock technologies, right? All right, we're going to do a grave site. And we are going to put you there. And I'm going to put another one there. All right, now you can see it already went to 96. All right, and did I, I did not. So I need to make some markers. Also, this is, uh, come read this sign before you leave the first day and you can talk to the Inquisitor about it. Now, these vines, watch what it does. It gives you a nice hand, a nice stack, but it doesn't help the beauty of your graveyard. So, but this is an easy way to get green ones if you're just trying to unlock stuff. But it doesn't help the beauty of your graveyard. All right, so we've got a week, but I think that needs to be my new focus. Is getting the graveyard done. And you probably should try to get that done in the first week, but, you know, there's no, there's no race, right? There's not a race. All right, let's drop you off and the stick. We've got more metal. So we've got three in there. Uh, you know what? I Well, until that's done, I can't change anything, right? So let's get... Uh, let's travel back to the dead horse. 
And I did bury that body, so we should have the burial certificate to make some money. Don't buy food from this guy. Don't. It's just, you, you, you'll end up being able to do so much food, it's not even funny. All right. Um, where did I want to go here? I forgot. Oh, yeah. I want to come up to the, to the vegetarian uh, stronghold. And I want to buy some more peat from this guy. Now, you know, 16 to 20, you know, should have done it. But I'm going to go ahead and buy, I'm going to buy a dozen more. All right. And today is Hammer Day, which is Mrs. Charm. But I am not in a place to deal with her yet. I haven't made myself presentable for her high pollutant ways, right? So we're going to head back to the house. Oh, you know what? I wonder. I should wait. Yeah, let's wait a little while. All right, I'm going to wait here a few minutes till it gets darker. And we'll be right back because I want to see if we can get the moths out of these flowers while I'm here. And then you know what? That may allow our teleport stone to reset. Oh, I just noticed. You actually have to unlock the technology to get the moth. And can't do that until we open the church because that's how we get the blues. So, so we're, uh, we're not going to be able to do that. While we're here, though, let's go ahead and open our soft lines and our hard lines. Uh, I don't have enough reds. I do have enough for the important parts. So let's unlock that. And we're going to go ahead and get the red flowers anyway. Don't know why I forgot about that. All right, we do have some bread, so we can go ahead and eat. That way I'm not in a, in a hurry to go to sleep. If you can stay up the two-day cycle, you get more done. It's just one of those things. And unfortunately, I can't really turn the brightness up any here. All right, but we do have the peat. I can get these planted. Oh, hold on. All right, plant. Peat. See what I did? I skipped over the important part and <laughs> I overwrote the, uh, the, the initial thing there. Now, as you can see, you don't get a one-for-one -one return on your seeds. So we are going to have to buy more seeds on occasion. It's just what it is. And... What about gardening? No, garden bed. All right, this is what we want. We want to open this. So we want to open the compost heap. And I need 10 sticks. So I've got the power. So let's go grab 20 sticks. That gave us a couple... Um, I'm going to take them all with me. It's just easier to do that. I can't sneak through there. All right, uh, compost heap. We're going to build two of those. All right. Now, when we come here, they're already pre... Well, actually, I do have to build them. And you can use the trick there. All right. This crop waste. So every time you pick a harvest a crop, you get the crop, a few seeds, and crop waste. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to put eight crop waste. And we're going to put eight crop waste here. And it's just like the garden. Next time we come back, it'll already default to that. So what this is going to make is it's going to give us our own peat. And it will also give us maggots, which, you know, we'll find a use for those, I'm sure. 
All right, so uh, anything to put in here? Sticks. We do have the iron. And let's go ahead and chop 20 more firewood. All right, and we are going to put in our 20 firewood. It gives us 180 fuel. And we're going to do seven more ingots. Because those do take a while. So we have to make sure that we're you know, dealing with that. All right, let's see what we can make here. All right, so we can make flour. And we'll go ahead and make that up real quick. Just, you know, it's and it's it's finding a routine, finding a pattern. There's not a right way or a wrong way. You saw I ate a few more breads to build up some more energy. All right, and so we'll put the flour back over there. And that gives us this. Okay, now let's take a look what else we can make. If we get milk, which we can buy in the village, uh, the, the village, we could buy that and the eggs, right? Then we can make pastry doughs. We can also use carrots and cabbage and salt to make sauerkraut. Now, salt comes when we start cremating bodies, I believe. Uh, so what else can we make? Raw sliced meat. We can turn that and we can cook the meat and at this oven and then make baked meat and then we can make burgers right now honestly the best thing that we can make and i don't have the ability yet where do i learn that from oh here we go beet slices at the oh at the oven that's why all right so then over here bread we've already done baked apples here's where we can make the mushrooms fried eggs fish but what we're going to focus on i think we're going to need carrots so i'm going to stay away from the carrots right so i i want beets now did we have any beets over there i thought i brought all the food with me but maybe not we did all right so i'm going to take these and we're going to leave all that all right what day is it it is quake day the merchant is here today, so let's go find him. And I need 12 of these, 12 of each. Yes, I have it. So let's head over to him. And I will see you guys when I get there. Oh, you see the wagon passing by, so we're going to have to hurry it up and get back we do have the teleport stone so we get there pretty quickly there's the merchant because he only comes on this one day all right uh, about our deal i have carrots i have cabbage i have beets and we got a story all right i don't have the tin silver so we're going to come back but how much money do I have? I have one silver. So we're going to want to buy a few seeds. And then we want to get home for that body. All right, let's trade. I need Actually, you know what I can do? I can sell those, right? I want to keep the uh, beets. All right, we want four of those, eight of those. Cabbages, carrots. Eight of those. All right, and then carrot, beets, Did I just buy flour? 
Oh my God. Let's sell those. All right, so I've got 23. You know what? Let's get home. I always screw up when I buy. That's why the first time I bought one thing at a time. Uh, all right. All right, it is down to 97%. Now, we're going to do something a little different with this body. I'm going to go ahead and eat till I'm full. All right, let's autopsy. So, we're going to take the heart. We're going to take the, and that takes two whites. We're going to take the intestines. We are going to take the fat. We're going to take the brain. We're going to take the blood. And let's go ahead and take the flesh on this one. Now, the body's just completely gone, right? So it's not worth bearing. It doesn't give us anything. The reason I took every single thing from that body was because that way I only ruined one body if I can help it. And then we're just going to walk down here to the river. And then Jerry's like, what the hell are you doing? The best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Well, how can I burn it? Fire and some wood. A nice quiet place across the road from the mortuary. So I have a feeling that I don't I don't know this for a fact, but it's possible that their happiness could go down uh, because of the uh, floating bodies. Now, here's where we can open up the crematorium. We have to do that in the technologies. Um, all right, I want to open that. Simple gravestones. Cremation. I can't do that till I get uh, blues as well. But simple gravestones, so that allows us to build the barriers around it and also the crosses rather than the markers so those are going to be higher end items i want a little more all right we're going to plant that plant that plant that and we've got four carrot seeds all right so Everything else, no seeds, no uh, waste. All right, so we're going to keep that on us. We'll move that over by the church tomorrow. Uh, let's grab our ore or our iron. So that's good. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go to sleep here in a minute, but I do want to chop for firewood the firewood oh that oh you know what that was the uh the marker that i had this is now we can destroy stuff right all right but i want firewood so i need wood billets which are here wood billets and then we can make 20 firewood Not enough. Wow, okay. Well, I want to bring that in here. All right, let's bring 
30. Let's do 90 minutes. And I want to do all the beet slices. And firewood. All right, let's go ahead and go to sleep. And I believe we're at the end of an episode. So remember when you wake up, that's how you can save. And that's where you will start the next time you load your game. Uh, if it's something you wanted to do. Uh, did I dig that guy up? I don't think I did. All right, well... All right. Well, anyway, there we go. Well, guys, appreciate you watching. Hit that like button if you like what you're seeing and want to see more of it. Let me know down in the comments below as well and uh, ask any questions and I'll try to help you as I always do. We'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.